in this lesson, we're going to use rational exponents to simplify radical expressions. So here we're given a radical expression and we are asked to simplify it. Well, you can actually simplify it by rewriting it as a rational exponent and then simplify that fraction and then turn it back into a radical expression. So let's see what that looks like. So recall that we can rewrite this uh, in the form where X, you notice here, is my base. That's my big number. And for the fraction that it's going to be raised to uh, here, this is the power that it's raised to. So remember the power is always on top of the fraction. The index is the root which goes in the bottom of the fraction. So to rewrite this in rational exponent form, to rewrite it as a fraction, it would be x to the 2 6 power. And now all we have to do is just reduce that fraction. So cancel the common factor of 2 from the top and the bottom. And what that's going to leave you with is a fraction of 1 3rd. And so now we have x to the 1 3rd. Let's now turn it back into a radical. So turning it back into a radical, underneath the radical symbol, I'm going to have x. What kind of root? Cube root, because we have a 3 here. And so it's just simply the cube root of x. We're done. We've simplified the radical expression by using rational exponent. It's turning it to a rational exponent, simplify the fraction, and then put it back as a radical. Let's do one more example. So here we have uh, the square root, excuse me, not square root, <laughs> that's the tenth root, the tenth root of a to the fifth power, b to the fifth power. So to simplify this radical expression, let's convert it to a rational exponent. So our base a is going to have what fraction? If you said 5 tenths, you are correct. And B will also have the same fraction as its exponent. So we have A to the 5 tenth times B to the 5 tenth. We can go ahead and simplify those fractions. We can cancel the common factor of 5 from the top and the bottom of those fractions. And what that's going to leave us with is each one is going to be raised to the one half power. Once you simplify, five tenths simplifies to one half. So now we're ready to convert it, put it back as a radical. So what type of root are we going to be dealing with? So take a look at the bottom. You have two. Two stands for what root? Yes, you got it. It stands for square root. So all we have to do is just simply write the square root of AB and we're done. There, we've simplified the radical expression again by first converting it to a rational exponent, simplifying that fraction, and then put it back in radical form. And there you have it.